All right, guys, today is the last day that you can join the giveaway. All you have to do to join is subscribe to this channel, turn on your post notifications, leave a like on this video, and also leave a comment down below saying I want to win the giveaway. And the winner will be chosen tomorrow, and they will win an entire sneaker collection of shoe trees. Hey yo, what's good you hypies, welcome back to the channel. If you guys are new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. And also, don't forget to turn on your post notifications. And since you're already down there, you might as well just hit the like button as well. Because today, I'm going to be telling you guys the three ways that there is to resell. Just in case, you know, maybe you guys are curious on how people resell. Or maybe you guys are interested in reselling. And you guys can find the one that you guys like the best. So the first way is the most obvious way. And it is the most difficult way. And that is just selling hype stuff. Before, when Yeezy started, this was the main way to do it. Like, people would just start selling Yeezy. They would only go out and buy Yeezys because this was the most hype sneaker back in the day. I mean, now there's other sneakers such as Off-Whites and there was just Drake's that came in along as well. And there's a bunch of other shoes such as Family and Friends and MDs, Pharrell's. But starting off when Yeezy moved to Adidas, the Yeezys were very popular such as the Turtle Doves. They were going for like a thousand resell and now they're going for like two or three thousand, somewhere around there. And this is the hardest way obviously because these sneakers are very limited or they were once very limited, but now they are more easy to obtain. So Yeezys aren't exactly the move, but you can still buy really hype stuff and sell them. And the thing with this is that you're going to get low quantities but you're gonna get really high profits so like say for example you scored a pair of these these right now are going for like around nine hundred dollars they're gonna go up to a thousand eleven hundred twelve hundred they're only gonna go up they're not gonna go down this is a great example of reselling hype stuff because like i said this sneaker only costs 190 and you can resell it for a thousand dollars profit so that's a huge profit in one weekend a thousand dollars people make that in a week of working you can literally make this in one day on a saturday but the problem with this form of reselling like i said it is very difficult to obtain the shoe you do have to work really hard at getting it but this pair i got lucky it was a surprise drop so i am actually going to be able to get most likely a thousand dollars profit out of the sneaker once the time comes right now it's not the time because the sneaker just came out in june but give it a couple months and i promise you guys this sneaker will go up in the thousands if not the two thousands like the other colorways of this sneaker the second type of reseller there is is the one that cops high quantity with low resale so for example let's go with these blushes right here these when they came out they cost you 200 and 220 after shipping if you paid shipping and also taxes obviously most states have taxes this one cost me around 220 after tax and the sneaker right now is going for around 325 before when the sneaker actually just came out it was only going for like 280 or somewhere around there so obviously the profit margins are really small but this sneaker was not hard to obtain i was actually able to get two pairs a personal pair and a pair that i'm going to resell so that means since it was easy to obtain you can get more pairs and the more pairs you resell the more profit you're going to make obviously however it's not easy to always get a lot of pairs because it's always a matter of luck through your bots or your raffles like you're not always guaranteed to get the same amount of pairs in the sneaker game it's all really about luck at the end of the day but also the work you put into it does contribute to the amount of pairs that you're potentially getting the third type of reseller is the Nike outlet reseller this is the one that goes to the Nike outlets he finds steals and he resells them for a higher price obviously than what he bought it for he can either go to Nike outlets Michaels Ross all these stores even thrift shops you can get them for a really cheap price and then resell them and the good thing is that they're very cheap like sneakers here can go as low as like 50 40 and you can resell them for like 80 to 100 bucks and if you're from another country such as me I'm from Peru if I'm able to buy these sneakers here for $40 I can take them to Peru and actually sell them for $80 so if you're willing to do the work and buy a bunch of sneakers and ship them over to your country maybe one of your family members owns a store overseas you can go ahead and ship it to them tell them to pay you up front a profit for every sneaker and then they're going to sell for more profit as well this is always profitable but it is very difficult and especially if you don't have family overseas or if you don't know how to get it started but it is a very effective way of reselling if you guys are willing to put in the work like i said it is not easy none of these three ways are easy reselling is not easy at all like yeah you can buy a pair of sneakers here and there and like i said get lucky with a really hype sneaker and then resell it however it's not always going to be like that it's all a matter of luck like i said and it all takes work last but not least i'm going to throw in a bonus reseller and that is the one that cops and holds his sneakers so for example you don't know where the market's going to go with a sneaker let's say the blushes these are going to go up in price and they've only been going up in price and the reason is because the super moon yellows had more quantity than them so that makes these seem more limited therefore bringing the price up on these and the same thing is going for the easy wave runners however those are going to go down in price if they do restock which is rumored i don't know when exactly but it is a rumor so those are most likely to go down in price but right now they're only going up since there is no confirmed news that they are going to be restocking another example of the sneakers would be these these are only going up in price right here the top threes that i have down here they're the top three ones these have only been going up in price as well like i just checked today these are going for like 450 500 as well for example these only cost 160 when they came out and they really weren't that hard to get and i actually bought two pairs i gave one away on this channel and i bought my own pair and i'm most likely just gonna sit on these i, I mean i already sat on them long enough they came out in like 2016 and i can resell them now for even 400 even though they're going 
for like 450, 500 because they are in almost pretty much new condition. So there it is guys, those are the three ways plus an extra reseller way to tip. There are a couple other ways you can resell, but these are the main ways. And if you guys are interested in reselling, you guys can definitely get into it. It is not too late, it's never too late, especially if you guys are innovative about it. If you guys find another way to resell sneakers and it's a very creative way and it pops off, you guys would definitely be making hella money because you guys are doing something different. And honestly, nowadays doing something different does bring a lot of cash into your pockets. If you guys want me to elaborate on any of these four ways of reselling, I can definitely get into it in another video. All you guys have to do is comment down below which one of these four ways you guys want me to elaborate on. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Let's reach 32,000 subscribers by the end of this month. And also, don't forget to turn on your post notifications so you don't miss out when I post new videos like this. I actually think I'm going to start posting more reselling videos because I know that's what you guys want to watch. And I know it's what's most helpful to you guys, especially because everybody just wants the extra cash in their pockets. Anyways, today's fan of the day does go to Chris Molina. Big shout out to you, bro. Thank you for leaving a comment down below. If you want to be fan of the day, all you gotta do is subscribe to this channel, turn on your post notifications, and also leave a positive comment down below. Anyways, guys, until next time, make sure you guys keep grinding. It's your boy, Sneaker signing out.